Today is December 22nd and on December 16th I had a dream. It was it was very brief. I was given a Bible verse. It was Luke 8:17 and I woke up and I looked up the verse and I was pretty surprised to see it. For nothing is secret that shall not be made manifest, neither anything hid that shall not be known and come abroad. At first I thought, is the Lord directing that at me? And I really got to thinking about all the dreams that I've had. And um, I, I am so far removed from these dreams because I'm more of a, I've always been somebody that believed in the imminent return of Christ. And um, I see this as things being exposed, things being brought to light in our corrupt government that people aren't aware of. And, and I, I think there's a whole lot of things that are going to be brought to light and judgment is coming to the governments. And um, I, I, um, I also want to um, mention that I, even though I believe in the imminent return of Christ, I have seen, um, I've seen some things that make me believe we're going to be here for at least a couple more years. Um, my, I had a dream a year ago that I saw this little girl in a long white dress and she was, she looked just like my, my granddaughter, Evie, who was four. And I was confused because I looked off maybe 20 feet behind her. There was a lot of children playing, but I looked off behind her and there's this little girl and it's Evie. She was dancing around in her little costume dress. She, she likes to wear costumes. And this little girl in her white dress, she was talking to me like she knew me, like I was her grandma. And but I knew I didn't have two granddaughters and she was, she was just talking away and she said, I don't know my alphabet yet. And I thought, well, this can't be Evie, even though it looks like her and I see Evie behind her. I, I was confused and because Evie most definitely knew her alphabet at the age of two. So um, my son and daughter-in-law, they work with they they shortly after that they were expecting a baby and I was all excited and I was thinking there's our little girl she's coming and they lost the pregnancy and that was really it was really sad and emotional and she conceived again and nine weeks later she she lost that pregnancy too and that was just we were gutted and I thought that was our little girl I was pretty sure the second one that she lost was a little girl, but um, my son and daughter-in-law felt very strongly that that was a little boy, and um, and so I, I, you know, I just tucked that, you know, I kept that to myself, and then um, she conceived again. Long story short, it is a little girl. She is past the danger zone. She's due in five or six weeks, and we are so excited, and. Um, my brother, I've mentioned in other videos, my brother, he's pretty, he's a really good seer. Um, he's got four young children and he told me that he really saw us going into the next decade, past the middle of the next decade, that he saw his children that old. And I never like it when I hear, yeah, we're gonna be here a long time because it's not that I'm not thankful for my life. I really have it good. And um, I, I try really hard not to love my life too much. It, it's a fine line because things are just so good in my life. And um, I, I really, I am longing for the return of Christ. I'm thankful for my life here, but I cannot wait to go to heaven. And I, I don't, politically, I know that there's a lot of really bad corruption that needs to be brought to light and um, I try to keep my political views to myself. So let's just say I'm looking forward to the hidden things being revealed and for justice to finally be served on people who have been corrupt. 
And um, so I, I've been hearing in a lot of the videos, I've subscribed to a lot of people that have dreams and a lot of people are saying, we're leaving, we're leaving in the next couple of days. There's no way, and I believe it. I, I don't think there's any way that God wouldn't fulfill something huge in 2017 because of all the numbers lining up. I follow them and um, everything in me is saying this year it's got to happen. We, we ha this has to be the start of the tribulation and we have to be raptured out. But honestly, with my dream, seeing my granddaughter being at least two and my brother seeing his children being older, I just think um, we're here for at least another two years. So take that take that as as you will um i wasn't going to post this because i it just it didn't seem like a big deal but because i kind of wondered if it if it was about me hidden things being revealed you know we all have we all have our doubts about ourselves so um take that for what you will and um watch if this is true watch for things to really ramp up in, in people, in places of power, being um, their secrets coming out. So um, Christmas is coming. I wish you a happy and blessed Christmas, a Merry Christmas. Thank you. Amen.